Hello, my name is James, and in this video, we're going to learn about template overrides. First, I'll talk a little bit about what a template override is and why they exist. Then I'll show you a simple example. Okay, so what is a template override? Well, template overrides allow you to customize our plugins without touching our core plugin files. You could edit our core plugin files and everything would be just fine until we update our plugin. When we update our plugin, you would lose any customizations that you added. This is why we use template overrides instead. When you make a customization using a template override, you won't lose that customization next time our plugin updates. It's similar to the concept of child themes if you're familiar with those. Okay, so how do you do it? Well, basically all we're going to do is copy a core plugin file and paste it into a specific folder in our theme folder, preferably a child theme, because again, if you add this template override to your parent theme, and you update your theme sometime down the road, you'll lose these template overrides and have to do it all over again. If you'd like to learn more about child themes, there will be a link in the description of this video for more information. Okay, so let's try one. For this example, we're going to try something pretty simple. We're going to remove the featured image from list view. Here you can see an example of a calendar in list view and each event has a featured image. Let's say for some reason, we don't want these images to show up. You could hide them with some CSS, but there's a better way. And that way is template overrides. So first we need to find the relevant core plugin file. This is oftentimes the trickiest part and can involve some trial and error. For this example, the file we're looking for is in the wp-content folder, plugins, the events calendar, source, views, v2, list, event featured image dot php now this is what i mean by trial and error say you're not 100 percent sure this is actually the file that you are looking for what i like to do is just make some kind of change to this file save it and then go check out the front end of my website and see if anything happened so i'm just going to go ahead and copy all this text and delete it save it and go look at our website and see what happened perfect so not only did something happen telling me that I'm looking at the right file, um, we actually already accomplished what we set out to do. We got rid of those featured images. Now, technically we could stop here, uh, but like I said before, if you update your plugins later, uh, then you will actually lose this customization. All the code in this file that we just deleted will come right back and your featured images will start showing up again. We don't want that. We want this change to persist even after we update. That is where template overrides come in. So let's go ahead and put this file back the way it was. And if you scroll to the top of the file, you'll actually see some instructions. It will tell you exactly where to copy this file. So we're going to go to our theme folder and we're gonna make a folder called tribe. Inside that folder, we'll make a folder called events and then another one called v2 and then list and then event and we'll create a file called featured-image.php. And that template override will, as the name suggests, override this file. So once we create this template override, our plugin will actually ignore this file and use this template override file instead. Okay, so for this example, we are using the default theme 2020. So that's where we're going to create these folders and ultimately this template override file. So let's go ahead and go up here to themes and we want 2020, where is it? There it is. And you could do this the old fashioned way by right clicking and choosing new folder and creating each folder. Uh, I'm gonna do it a little bit of faster of a way. I'm going to open a terminal and I'm just gonna type make directory and I'm just gonna copy this actually right here. And there we go. We have a folder called tribe with a folder inside of it called events, v2 list event. Now inside this event folder, we do want to create a file called featured-image.php. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and paste the code that we copied from the other file right here. Just copy it all here and paste it there and save. Now, of course, this is the same exact code as the core file. So if I was to go look at the website, nothing would be different. It would be just the way it was right out of the box. The featured images will all be here. 
uh, because we haven't made any changes yet. And so normally this is where I would go in and I would make my change. I'd put the code that I want in here. Uh, but for this example, we actually just want to delete everything because we just want those featured images to go away. So I'm just going to delete the code in this file and hit save. And then if we go back to our website and refresh, you'll see that the featured images have disappeared, even though our core file still has all this code in here. The images disappeared because our template override file is empty. OK, now you're not always going to be deleting all the code in a file. Usually you're just going to go in and make some kind of tweak to the code um, to make the website look the way you want. Maybe you want to replace a word with a different word or something like that. Um, so this was a bit of an easy one. Just delete all the code and we're good to go. But hopefully you got the idea of how template overrides work. One thing to remember is that if you forget exactly where you're supposed to create these folders, just go to the top of our files and it will tell you exactly where to create the tribe folder and which folders to put inside that folder. Um, so just in case you forget, you should always be able to find that information at the top of our files. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.